it's interesting to see that data validation can be case sensitive or not, depending on how we define our options. So in this cell, I'm going to define data, data validation, and I'm going to say a list, and I'm going to say Y and N are my options for this cell. Okay. So now I have these two options. If I choose from the drop down, that's fine. If I type in a Y lowercase, I'm fine. If I go and type an uppercase Y and enter, it doesn't let me. It says that it doesn't match the options, data validation restrictions. So it's being the case sensitive in this case. So cancel. But if I put Y and N here in this range, and I name this range as options, I came here to this name box and typed in options and then enter. So this range here is has a name options. And in this cell, I came to data and then data validation, same thing, list. And instead of typing here Y and N as options, I went F3 to pick up the names I have, chose the name and the option options name. Okay. So these are my options. And if I come here and type an N lowercase, it's fine. If I type in a Y lowercase, it's fine too. And what about if I type an uppercase? It's fine too. So that's interesting. And I most of the times I create my data validation options like this. I create names, named ranges with my options so that I have the ability to easily go there and add an extra option if I need to. So I was convinced that data validation was not case sensitive. And when suggestion we just tested, it can be case sensitive if we, instead of using a range where our options are, if we define the data validation, typing in the options here instead of using an end range. That's an interesting situation. I wonder if this is the same in all Excel versions before I'm using Microsoft 365. So. Let me know if you have other Excel versions and you are watching this and you want to test in your on your end, let me know what happens in your case. If uh, data validation has a behavior like the one we just saw now or a different one. Okay, let's see what other comments we have here. Uh, so I have a question here from Wayne. If the list point to an actual range, it is case sensitive. If no, if to a named range, then not. Uh, that's an, another interesting tip. So let's test this third situation, different than this previous one. So let's let's test this again here too. Let's put this uh, another color. Let's say green, another color. And so for this cell, let's imagine that I want to have the same options, yes and no. But let me see. Okay, let's test different things. So data, data validation, any value list. If I come to the source, the point to this range, because the range already has a name, it automatically picks up the name. So let's discard this. And let's start. Let's put yes and no here. But let's not name the range. So if I come to the cell, data validation, list, and I point the source to this range without giving a name to this range, okay, we have the options yes and no here. If I go yes, lowercase, of course, it works. Let's say if I go Y, it also lets me. I just tested the named range and it, it's not being case sensitive in my case. So it could be a matter of different Excel options or we are uh, Excel versions 
or we are doing something different. So, for example, if you if you look at uh, here, uh, if I type in an N uppercase, it works. And if I type in an N lowercase, it also works. And it's pointing to that range here that had no name. So that's interesting. I have this impression that in most situations, data validation is not case sensitive. It's not acting as case sensitive here in my computer and this Excel version specifically. It may happen that in other versions has a different uh, behavior, but so it's a, it's an interesting item to pay attention to because if we are implementing data validation to make sure that the users enter the data the way we need it to be, and if we are transferring that information inputted by the user to either Power Query or VBA, being uppercase or lowercase uh, will make a difference. So we need to prepare our code in either the circumstances to deal with the possibility of data validation having had allowed the user to enter data on different casing styles.